Checking systems now. Complete. We'll see how it sounds in the recording. Telemetry. Stand by. Stand by. Scanner now. Collating. Compiler data. Cartography update complete. Scan the star. Scan. System map. System cartography. System map. System map. Yeah. Okay. This may be nothing. I'm not sure about this guy here. I'm. I don't know if this is uh, like a, a, could be maybe an ammonia-based life planet. Let's see. What is the star? Is this an M class again? It's a K class. All right. And the K class, I think, are 0.5 to 200. Is that right? Or am I getting that mixed up with another one? No, it's 107 to 480 for the habitable zone. Okay, 105, 107 to 480. So that's too close, that's too close. That's too close. This one is, this one is in a habitable area, so is that, that, and that's outside. Hmm. And then um, what else do we have? Is this another K class or an M class? That's an M. Okay. Close the map. Closing the map. Distances. This last one was like 89. But it's also getting late in the day. I know I took a break and came back, but maybe I'll scan this one system and then, uh, and then just call it quits for the day and uh, come back tomorrow and do some more. This has been a very profitable day. There's no question about it. 25, sir. Okay, that silhouette, I believe, means that it could either be a high metal content or a um, or a uh, or what is it? Uh, rocky ice world. I'll look in a minute here. this guy right here. It's a high metal content. Okay. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Okay, 50% engaged. So this will be a high metal content world, but it's too close to the star to be terraformable. Okay, high metal content. Another high metal content world. guys are real close to each other, aren't they? We'll do 
do a fly around here. Alright. Full speed ahead. 100%. Okay, this one is a, um, I keep, I think, well, let's just look. That one is this guy here, high metal content. System map. System Still too close. Still too close. Close the map. Closing map. Understood. Fifty percent. high metal content or a rocky body. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. So I think that's the sidereal wall ahead of us there. Still in the Norma expanse, but on the northern edge. I guess you could say the northwestern edge. Well, the northern edge. Actually, the southern edge of the sidereal wall, the northern boundary of the Norma expanse. I would be real happy 
in this system to make at least 275,000 credits. So if I do that, I think that that means that my total for the day will be over 3 million. That would be a nice way to end the day. Oh, look at that terraforming candidate. I just just did it. And I was thinking this might have been one. I'm pretty sure this is the one I thought it was. 25%. System map. System map. Yeah. yeah. I was looking at that one and I thought that one that one has the potential to be a terraforming candidate. It's within the uh, within the range which is uh, which is K class uh, greater or equal to 107 less than or equal to 480 light seconds and that one falls right in there 178 kind of right in the middle so I'm not surprised um, but it's only about a quarter the earth mass, um, one quarter earth mass, so 0.224 earth masses, so it's smaller. All right, good. Now this one is also within the, uh, within that range, and so is this one. So let's see what happens if we select that one. Just select it. Close the map. Close the map. And okay, that's our next one in the route. And that, um, I believe that that full, full speed ahead. I believe that that image there on the left is a uh, high metal content or rocky body. Let's see. Yeah, a high metal content or a rocky body. So, yeah, definitely, potentially another terraformable. But look at that. I mean, we already are up to almost 500,000 cr uh, credits here in this system alone. Well, not every day can be this good, but today is worth celebrating. Now, 50%. Rocky body or high metal content. Yeah, another terraforming candidate. Look at that. We're up to 900,000, almost, almost a million. Let's take a look at this one. Quarter impulse. One quarter impulse. Nice and slow. Now this one is also within the uh, within the uh, Goldilocks zone. Oh, and this is an Earth-like either an Earth-like or water world. Oh, gosh. Let's go look. Full speed ahead. Let me show you. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. All right. Let me show you here. That's one of these guys down here. Oh, an ammonia world or Earth-like world. And I was thinking, um, system map. System map. Based on its color, it's most likely an ammonia world. So it's 
probably going to be one of those. Close the map. Close the map. It looks like ammonia worlds tend to get that brown haze. I've even seen um, ammonia worlds that are also water worlds water worlds with ammonia atmospheres and they have that that dirty haze on them. Today's going to be a prince of a day. Yeah, I thought so. An ammonia world. Look at that. Oh, today's been a great day. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Let's wrap around it. We'll go around it nice and slow. I'd like to get a good look at this one. See how it compares to the last one that we got earlier today. Yes, sir, twenty five per cent. Yeah, so, um, this one has more of a gold color underneath the uh, the ammonia atmosphere probably because there's no water here well it says there is it must just be a thicker atmosphere than the last one an ammonia water world oh no an ammonia world I think that's not ammonia water just ammonia speed ahead. Maximum drive. Now this next one's a gas giant and it's a class one Sadarsky. Uh, we're I think we just have gas giants left today. It's um system map. System cartography. Yeah. So yeah just this ammonia world and then, or this uh, Sadarsky and then I think all of these are going to be ice worlds and then this one here I'm not quite sure about. I think that's a rocky body but we'll find out or yeah I think it's a rocky body but we'll find out. Close the map. Close the map. see it. The mouse is crawling around here. I gotta get me another one of those pretty soon. Another um, potas. Either another um, uh, uh, Say take X fifty two 
or perhaps one of the um, X-56s. I haven't decided yet. But it'll probably be a few months before I can do that. I'm sure of it. Got some um, premium tamponium on that one. Let's make a note about that. See that mouse? That's crawling around. Speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged.
this is vanity in action because I'm going to go after that one and I know it's not going to be very valuable. It's too far out to be terraformable or anything. So it's, uh, I'm only doing it because I want to have my name on everything in the system. And it's the last, uh, last jump of the day too. Full speed ahead. 100%. Okay, so we're going to be transiting a little while. So we're over the, oh, over the 4 million mark, not 3 million, uh, 4 million. Yeah. Yeah. This might, might be my best day yet. And I did it all in eight jumps, uh, scanning uh, 87 bodies. And I only traveled... Uh, 261 light years today, which, uh, you know, I keep saying I want to do at least 500 a day, but it just hasn't been working out, because I've been doing a lot of scanning, but I've made a lot of uh, progress, so I'm not, not upset about any of it. This is where I found that Earth-like world over there. And we're coming out, looks like we're moving above the star cluster that we were in. I don't see too much above it. A little bit. Alright. So we're about... I'd say about 20% of the way to uh, Jacques Station, which isn't bad considering all the systems that I've gone and done all this detailed surface scanning on. I do it on most of the systems that I have seen. Let's see, this was, I believe, a, a K class. Star, I think so. System map. System map. Let's see. Yeah, oh, no, an M class. This is a K class, the one that uh, that we that we found the um, the terraformable and the what was it? The ammonia. High metal content, high metal content, high metal content, ammonia world. Alright, close the map. Close the map. Okay, so an M class. M class stars are pretty well known, um, at least in my book, for um, having Earth like worlds on them. but there aren't any planets around this one. So, this is a lone star.
large and small Magellanic Cloud. This is that star cluster that we've been passing through, and we're on the um, on the edge of that one now. So, yeah, we're we're doing okay. getting a scan on this now. Just that way I, I've collected data on the entire system. And my name, Alter Pixel, will be over all of them. As soon as I turn them in, which I plan on doing when I get to Jacques Station. Or the Colony District in general somewhere. Okay. And that was a class M, just like I thought. See so yttrium at less than one percent, less than one in a hundred. Next system. Selecting next system in route. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Stop engines. Cutting engines, stop here. Disengage. Exiting now. Okay, everybody. See you in space. <laughs>